Hello Aries, this is your reading for February 2021, um, starting the second week or towards the middle of February, okay? February 2021 for Aries Sun Moon Rising. New energies, positive energies for the five card spread, okay? As you know, this will not resonate with all Aries individuals, but I do try to reach the majority if possible, okay? Because remember, we're reading for, ah, uh, these cards are too big. For the masses. Let's see what's going on. Incoming energy. And I will be doing the pick a card love reading at the end. A mini one. These are quick readings for February. Things are changing up on YouTube. And I will probably explain it on my newer website. I just started it. So now i got to upload video on that. That is not associated with this platform. Okay. Incoming energy. Child of Wands. Some of you can be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a younger one, some lack of experience or short-tempered, you know. Past energy, Ace of Wands in reverse. Someone, Someone's a little off. Situations are off. Like I said, you can be dealing with a fire sign. And your obstacle is you need, need to regain balance in your life or money situations or stability in some way, Aries. Current environments, getting on top of things is that time, okay? You got to take a stand. What is coming towards your outside environment, the outside world you think is hopeless. And you're being very careful where you take a leap of faith. Let's find out more really quick. You got the Ace of Wands. It's in reverse. You're dealing with short tempers. You're dealing with passions that aren't exactly on the up and up. So I need two cards for that right quick. The Hermit. Someone has gone within. A lot of people have, right? King of Fire. This could be your energy, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's a Leo-type energy. So people are short-tempered, okay? People are out of sorts. People are tired of staying home, probably. People are probably irritated that they have to hide away. And think, they're getting a little antsy. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's the obstacle. something you're supposed to work towards. A new, stable beginning in some way, okay? So let's get two cards for that. The Hierophant, maybe go before a leader or a teacher to help you out. Five of Fire, there's going to be competition. You're going to have to get on the ball. If you want that new stable beginning, you know, when it comes to money, you go to somebody that has experience that could help you, someone that is an authority figure in some way, and they will help you because there's a lot of competition out there. You're going to need a little boost in some way. It's time to get... Um, motivated though it's time to take a stand time to get something done valor seven of wands two cards knight of earth yeah you may have to go against the earth energy and and um have a big transformation in your life when you do this when you take a stand you'll have a big transformation okay things will change in your life you think the world outside is hopeless they're not bringing you much hope on the outside. Let me put it that way, but I need two cards for that for Aries. The Magician. But you can manifest what you're wanting, okay? You can manifest what you need to do when it comes to finances and getting things paid and getting your bills paid again because you feel like things on the outside are hopeless. You don't feel like you're going to get any money in. But I do think if you go towards that new beginning to someone who's able to help you, a hierophant is like a teacher, could be a preacher, um, someone spiritual, they will help you deal with the competition that's out there. And then you're going to have to take a stand and transform your life. You have the tools and the knowledge will come towards you to know what you need to do. You know, to earn your keep again with the five of earth, you know, you're going to be careful with it. You're going to be, you're going to maybe not trust taking a leap of faith, but let's find out more. And then I'll put, do the pick a card reading. The fool again in reverse. Yeah, you're going to be really picky and be careful because you don't want to be betrayed. You're trying to come out of betrayal. You're not trusting people. And you're going to have to take a stand. Queen of fire. Okay, that is you putting on your crown, doing what you need to do. But you are being very careful. It's competition time. It's time to get on top of things. Work to where you're wanting to work towards. Because uh, the universe, even though it seems hopeless on the outside, is bringing something where you could use you can use in your life to get financial, you know, regain your finances because you did suffer 
a setback on your money, but you're feeling like I better be very careful where I take a leap, what I trust in again, because I don't want that ten of air, which is in reverse, coming out of betrayals, coming out of things messing you over, endings. You're going to be very careful when you go working towards something. And it's time to make a transformation, a big transformation, and you can do it. That's what it's saying. Now let me do the pick a card reading right quick. It'll be mostly towards love, but it's telling me, don't dawdle, you know. It's okay to be careful. I know the world is a kind of cuckoo, you know, but uh, it's saying that you're going to have to, you know, make a big change in your life, and you will. But I need three cards from the Angel Love. Angel Oracle cards for Aries. Now, I do shuffle these prior and meditate on them before I even set them out. Because I have to meditate them on a while, for a while. Because I'm trying to reach a lot of people here. Angel Answers. It's another angel deck for Aries Summoning Rising 2021. For February 2021. When it comes to love. And three cards from the Moonology. Okay. Give us more advice, what we need to know for Aries Summon and Rising. Just do what you need to do to get on top of things. Change is here. Use it. You know how to battle. I know Aries can get on top of things. I know they're feeling, Aries I know are feeling a lot like this. You know, they need to get on top of things. Though. They need to fight for what they want, you know, in some way in their lives. You know, to go, don't give up is what it's saying. Don't just don't give up. Now, Whatever you're going to choose will be the strongest energy. Whatever section you pick will be the strongest energy, but I bring them all together for secondary energies at the end anyway. They, a lot of times they do relate, okay? Pay attention to red flags, and you will. Starting to fight. Ask your angels if you need help. Please do, okay? It is, I feel like you're going to feel like things are hopeless on the outside. Ask your angels, and don't let the past hold you back. That's what I've been saying, Okay? I know you're going to pay attention to red flags. You've seen people mess you over. I see that Ten of Swords where it definitely happened. And now you're going to be very, very careful with the Ten of, uh, with the pay attention to red flags with the Ten of Swords. You're not going to let it happen again. But if you're fearful or you don't know which way to go, ask your angels. They will guide you. And don't let the past hold you back. Push forward. Push again. Codependency issues. It's time to release them, whether with you. Um, having them or somebody else having them or codependency issues with society or whatever it is, it's time to release them. You're ready to go forward again and get what you're wanting, okay? Surrender to divine. Let go and let God. Whatever you believe in, let it happen. Push forward, okay? Let go of anything that makes you depend on something else, okay? Depend on yourself. It's time for heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Probably has to do with love. Um, maybe you're having trust issues with somebody. So it's time to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. If you don't, nothing will come of the situation. So you need to open up, okay? Now, if this is a relationship thing, I see someone is needing to pay attention to red flags, whether you or someone else, you know, and with a codependency. Realize that you may be too codependent on somebody. So, or they may be this way towards you, and it causes problems, okay? Have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Let them know what you're thinking, okay? If you're having trouble with somebody or a situation, ask your angels. They will help you come out of it. You are ready. It's time to trust in the angels and in your life again. Don't let the past hold you back. Surrender to divine. Nothing will come of the situation if you do not put on forth the effort. Sitting on the couch, ordering pizza, or anything like that is not going to bring you wish fulfillment. Not going to bring you the work you want. Not going to pay the bills, okay? It's time to get out there and work, whether online, whether something that opens up for you, whether society opens up for you, even though you think it's hopeless, they're going to bring tools and, and knowledge and things that you need that will help you on your way. So don't think everything's going to be after you. Don't be too, too careful. It's okay to be careful because you've been burned before, but don't be so careful that you do not take that leap of faith. Okay. I'm going to let this go. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>